When we think of a great British comedy, it's hard to go past Faulty Towers, the late 1970s sitcom created by John Cleese and Connie Booth. Here's one of the less violent encounters between Cleese's Basil Faulty and Andrew Sarks as Manuel to remind you of its genius. There is too much butter on those trays. No, 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 senor. What? Not, not on those trays. No, sir. What seems remarkable to me is that the character of Basil Fawlty lives on despite the fact that only 12 episodes of the series were made in two batches of six, four years apart. That's not a lot, even by British standards where, often because they are written by just one or two people rather than a writing team, series tend to be relatively short. True to the showbiz adage, Cleese and Booth certainly left the audience wanting more. In the US, it's always been different. Although streaming is starting to change things, TV series have typically numbered around 20 episodes per year. The 1960s Batman series notched up 120 episodes over just three series. That's a lot of biffs, bams, pals, and uh, dialogue like this. Yes, first a puzzle dealing with roosters, and now this. 100 episodes used to be the magic number in America, meaning that after it's run on one of the national networks, the series could be picked up by minor broadcasters and cable channels in what was known as syndication. That ensured an ongoing payday for those involved in creating the show. Even today, shows such as Seinfeld with 180 episodes, Friends, 236 episodes, and The Big Bang Theory, a whopping 279 episodes, a prime property. Bazinga. All this got me thinking, do we remember old TV shows more fondly because we've simply seen a lot of them, either by constant repeats of a few brilliant episodes, as with Faulty Towers, or the simple ubiquity of the show? Big Bang, for example, is absolutely everywhere, from free-to-air channels to streamers and even airline entertainment systems. A generation or two ago, the same might have been said of Benny Hill. There were 59 episodes of The Benny Hill Show, but that was over 20 years. In some years, a season comprised just two episodes. Of course, we don't see much of Benny these days because most broadcasters have deemed his shows, which often ended with him chasing or being chased by a scantily clad woman, dated and politically incorrect. Seems Benny was a victim of the whole woke police before they even existed. Or um, even though he meet, meted it out, maybe he'd just worn out his welcome. My question here is, are more episodes of anything necessarily better? And also, did Benny Hill get a raw deal? Your thoughts are most welcome in the comments. And please like, share and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Bye for now.